For all the talk about how Sarah Palin cannot handle herself with anybody other than a starry-eyed supporter, let alone someone challenging or adversarial, our fourth story tonight, a fresh reminder that top of that ticket has its own shortcomings. John McCain sat down yesterday with the editorial board of the Des Moines Register in Iowa. He had a strategy here that apparently included opening with a dictator joke during a discussion of the bailout. And it kind of went downhill from there. This is just um, a, a not acceptable uh, situation. I'm not saying this is the perfect answer. If I were a dictator, which I always aspire to be, I would write it uh, uh, a very different, uh, you know, a little bit differently. Got to pause for the laugh there, sir. Things did not improve with the asking of the questions. Although he spent considerable time telling the editors he was a reformer, an enemy of the old boy network, that apparently slipped the senator's mind when he was asked about something else. Talk a little bit about the process you would go through in picking, you know, your your circle of closest advisors, your, your cabinet secretaries. I mean, what? I've been around the Congress and the Senate since 1983. I don't, I, I know people. But it was Senator McCain's demeanor that drew national attention today and inspired headlines with words like testy, irritable, sarcastic. At one point, he was asked to confirm whether he, as a veteran politician and senior citizen, has always had health care paid for by taxpayers. I was out of the military for a while before I, I went to Congress, but, uh, you know, that's an interesting statement, isn't it? Um, so, and I have never um, been an astronaut, but I think I know the challenges of space. So. Uh, the answer is that most of my life <clears throat> uh, in serving my country, I have had uh, health care. I did go a period of time where the health care wasn't very good. Is that the POW reference there? Mr. McCain was also confronted about his dishonest claims that Governor Palin had opposed the bridge to nowhere and that Senator Obama had supported sex ed for young kids, even though that bill, backed by the Illinois PTA, specified age-appropriate education, such as teaching those young kids how to defend themselves against sexual predators. How can you go about rebuilding trust with, without, I would contend, 100% absolute truth? Because I've always had 100% absolute truth, and that's been my life of putting my country first. And I'll match that record against anyone's, and I'm proud of it and an assertion that I've ever done otherwise, I take strong exception to. And you'll have to provide better proof than a bill that Senator Obama supported that clearly calls for the teaching of sex education of young children. So, Even something um, like the, the ad implying that the uh, lipstick on a pig reference was to Governor Palin. That just seems like that's not worth your seriousness in this campaign. Well, that certainly is your opinion, and I respect your opinion, but it's not the facts. Always 100% absolute truth. In his own 2002 book, McCain berates himself in retrospect for lying to win the votes of Confederate flag supporters in South Carolina. McCain also less than 100% truthful when asked why he chose such an inexperienced running mate. Note, PTA membership counts, and he says mayor twice. Well, thank you, but I disagree with your fundamental principle that she doesn't have the experience. She has been a mayor. She's been overseer of uh, billions, I don't know how many billions of dollars of natural resources. She has been a, uh, uh, she's been a member of the PTA. She's been a governor. She's been a mayor. She's been, uh, she has had vast experience on one of the fundamental challenges of America, and that's energy. I'm proud of her record, and it's not an accident that she's the most popular governor in America. You and I just have a fundamental disagreement, and I'm so happy the American people seem to be siding with me. Why do you think they're siding with you? Because there seems because to be they a, like her. They appreciate her. They know leadership when they see it. There seems to they, be a, a pretty strong disagreement over whether there are people who are great fans of hers and there are people who feel very uncomfortable that she does not have a lot of experience in public office, mm -hmm. you know, even, even among, you know, fairly conservative Republicans really? who like her policy. Really? I haven't so detected that. How do you read And I haven't that? detected that in the polls. I haven't detected that uh, amongst the base. We get 
20,000 people that come to our, uh, our rallies. Uh, so again, I fundamentally disagree. Now, if there's a Georgetown cocktail party person who, quote, calls himself a conservative and doesn't like her, good luck. Good luck. So you just Fine. dismiss those who don't sure. feel comfortable with, with her love? No, of I experience? don't dismiss them. I think that the American people have overwhelmingly shown their approval. The 100% absolute truth, Americans have not overwhelmingly shown their approval. 51% today told Pew Research Palin is unqualified. And most popular governor, no longer true. McClatchy reporting she has dropped from 82% approval in Alaska to 68%, and at least two governors are still polling in the 80s.